right, cool. So, um, uh, awesome. So first I just want to say before we get going that um, generally speaking, it sounds like we can take pictures of, of things. Uh, Michael, tell us if there's a certain area that, you know, no pictures, no video or whatever. But, but generally speaking, it's okay. Um, so just uh, so we're on the same page there logistically. Um, uh, yeah, and so without, so I guess that's it. So, so <clears throat> Michael, <clears throat> sorry, can't speak. Uh, I've, I've not, I, I've, I've now known him for all of half an hour. So, <laughs> so old friends, old yeah. friends. But uh, these guys were kind enough to uh, uh, make time for us today to show us around. And so I just said, hey, can you tell us about um, one about the the extension of the license, but also just in general the management. As you guys have been saying, at least in my car as we were driving in, right? Really, oh man, look at all this land, and we have to manage the land as well as the the energy production aspect of it as well. And so um, he's like, oh yeah, sure, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll take, a, take a, a look at a bunch of different things. Obviously, a, pro, a, some, a site this large and this complex for decades has all kinds of management challenges, permitting challenges, safety challenges. Uh, long-term, you know, sustainability and challenges. And so, um, so yeah. Without further ado, Michael. Thanks. Yeah, so, uh, Michael, I'm a TGD. Uh, so my, my you guys are coming closer. Yeah. Too far away. My day job is uh, is permitting, state and local permitting, and so I was part of the decommissioning team. We were decommission, and now I'm part of recommissioning. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also. We call it re, not extension. I, I, I just I call it recom just because we used okay. to call it decom. Okay. You can call okay. it license okay. whatever you want. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and my other. Responsibilities include management of or oversight of the land management activities at Diablo Canyon lands. Uh, so we have a land management team, um, land stewardship team is what we call it, and uh, we're responsible for uh, basically maintaining the license. We have a rancher out here that's uh, ranched this property, that's the same family that's ranched it for the last 40 years. Uh, the, we, our property extends out to basically the one top and it goes into the classes out here all the time that help us try to identify uh, the cultural resources that are out here. Uh, we work with Cal Poly Ranch Management. Uh, we have a ranch management plan that we're developing for this South Ranch. The North Ranch has a, has, has a rotational grazing plan that Cal Poly had developed. And you'll kind of see some of the differences. Uh, this is a stalker operation that we have here for this, uh, this ranch. And so what that means is that we, he takes cattle from Harris Ranch that's out on Highway 5 and they will bring them out here and however much weight they put on that's how much money that rancher makes so you can kind of see this ranch here is a bit hammered uh, we think that there's a little bit too many cattle that are on these because we lost for uh, too much time uh, so there's a lot more invasive grass species here as a result because it just uh, gets completely chewed down and it's been even worse the last couple of years with the lack of rain that we've had there's no forage out here. Uh, so you'll see there's a difference between this south ranch and the north ranch. The north ranch has a low intensity grazing plan so the cattle are moved through the paddocks a lot quicker. Although it's not as impressive as it normally would be because of the lack of rainfall. But last year uh, I was telling the other the guys in my truck uh, we have a, a managed access for the public that can come in. Uh, they can hike the, uh, the area and uh, we had such a trending on Twitter and Facebook and we had so many people coming we had to turn people away uh, so it, it was pretty fantastic which we don't get here because it gets grazed down uh, so we, uh, but yeah since like I said the same family we don't do a whole lot of work out here uh, 
like I said, occasionally we'll replace the culvert. Mm -hmm. We might have to maintain a road, uh, but we don't get into too much, too many issues of permitting space here, unless we have. We, we did um, remove a dam. There was an urban dam in this area here, so we had to get permits through uh, CDFW. We had Army Corps engineers involved to remove that dam. Uh, and I believe they got an award from the governor's office for uh, restoration. Oh, cool. Uh, so it was, we have the, uh, the land stewardship program for Diablo Canyon. great partnership with the ranchers with Cal Poly and also with the Northern Chumash. Anytime we do any earth moving activities out here we have Northern Chumash out here because we don't want to run into remains that you know we don't know what to do with. So we've set up a repatriation site uh, and off the hill over there it's called San Luisville. Um, so when we find remains and the tribe is out here they can take those remains and they can repatriate them. Uh, it's been a really 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 great partnership with those groups. So, so we'll see um, Tonight at Rancho Marina, we'll see a different uh, grazing operation with more appropriate levels of, of grazing. Um, and uh, yeah, some more of that later, but just suffice it to say, no grazing bad, too much grazing bad. Yeah. You need to have the right amount of grazing. Yeah, and it's, that's a good point because that's, we, we just, we'll see, we just repaved and um, uh, resurfaced our northern access road and it looked so nice right after it was done and then after we started grazing it again you know the cows all over it and they're dragging dirt onto it and someone had mentioned like well why are we licensing this why are we grazing it and i said well we we get paid about you know a few thousand dollars a year to, for the license but if we weren't doing that we'd have to pay a million dollars a year totally. to go out there and remove all the vegetation because of wildfire issues uh, so it's a fine, it's a fine balance because we want we don't want to spend a ton of money on veg management, which really does no one any good. Uh, it's just a waste of resources. But we also don't want to overgraze the property uh, and have issues kind of like we have here. So economic and environmental. Yeah, it's it's a fine decision. it's a fine tightrope to walk. Uh, it's difficult. And like I said, when when there's no forage out here, it's it becomes really tough, really really hard. Any questions about this property or what we call the South Ranch? South Ranch. Is it just the coastal <laughs> prairie or do they go up in the hills? Like, oh, they, the yeah, they'll, they'll go all the way oh, back go, there. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah the, uh, the family that ranches this property, they also ranch some of the neighboring properties. So there's some gates there they can get the cattle through Got and they can move all the way yeah. yeah, there's no, feel free, like I said, feel free to take as many pictures as you want. You want to walk out there and take photos of everything, go for it, and then we can head up and get to the power plant. Sweet. Sweet.